This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Ah, the final set of random floors. I love randomness. I... No, nah, I, I won't be sad to see it gone. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, now we're back here with another episode of Parasite Eve. This time, we're going to be tackling floors uh, 61 through 70. So, speed up! Let's go! Uh, this one took me a few moments on some of the maps to get through it, uh, just because they're starting to get a, a bit bigger. Yeah, I went up here just to see if, that, if, this, if the rest of the map was going to be... Because going through the first dead end or something like that kind of gives you an idea of where the map's going to go. But we're finally going to get all... The rest of the rest of the the, the treasure drops and, and everything else here and uh, yeah we got new enemies uh, well new reskins so we got upgrades to the jellies which now take a bit more work to kill but uh, nothing we can't handle and then yeah uh, I think the rats are the same for the previous war really it's the the jellies or plasmas or whatever they're called anyway we've hit the first uh, storage room here uh, see what goodies we get inside oh boy I can't hopefully it's some of the best ones right off the bat right. Oh, well, that's cool, I guess. P plus one. I, I could take that. How about the M502? Oh, I don't need that either. Well, that uh, that's cool if you like when well, I have multiple shotguns. Yeah, hey, recover. Might keep that on me, just in case. And the M500. So, two shotguns back to back, pretty much. All right, well, th th that's cool. That's cool. Uh, uh, hopefully, the next storage one will have all the great equipment, right? So, all right, anyway. Whoop. Zip back to it. So, yeah, so the bells are going to take a little bit longer now, but <laughs> actually, oh, and. I think I, for I think that was supposed to be a snake off screen if I remember correctly. There's there's a few fights in here where some of the enemies. Oh, and we finally get the giant bears, uh, which don't take too long. And we get snakes now too. So actually, I don't think we had snakes on the early force. So they saved them for the later levels for some reason. Yeah, we finally fight the giant bears. I was wondering when they were gonna finally appear. And they, and I guess because of how chonky they are, they saved them for the end. And yeah, there's a couple snakes and jellies over there. But yeah, nothing nothing too bad uh, on them. At least. Not for the most part. There's a, there's a, uh, I think it's the mongrel man or, or, um, wolf man or whatever it is that will pop up here. They're pretty, they're pretty durable, but not for long. But anyway, finding the second storage room. Let's see what we got here. All right. Defense plus one. Okay. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. How about there? A mimic, a monster. Yeah. I think we fight quite a few more mimics here before the day is done. If I recall. So, all right. Take this squid thingy. Or, uh, not squid, uh, you know, slug thingy or whatever. That's what it kind of looks like. like. I said before, when it looks like a hermit crab, when it pops up out of its like shell or something like that. All right, just pop this on there. And yeah, the defense. Yeah, I forgot to pop that up from before. So, oh well, that happens every once in a while because it's not so big that I need to. Defense was one isn't going to affect a, 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 anything major at this point. So, at this point, it's all about big chunks now, which uh, which we'll find out here, not too far off. But whoop, back to it. But yeah, I think the final set of fours. Uh, yeah, it took me it took me a hot minute to figure out some of them just because I'd seen a lot of the combinations. So and I didn't have a, like a list of ones that I'd already seen or marked out. So I wasn't. <laughs> so oh well, a bit of bad planning. But uh, I got smacked by the bear like right before it died. Well, I ran into it. I mean. But yeah, unfortunately the last. Uh, oh yeah, there I was. I was. I was about to go forward, but I was like, wait a minute, this map. Uh, alteration like everything should indicate that if I go north it's gonna be a, a dead end so anyway get to the next storage room here we get a monster another one how many of there are you do you guys breed like rabbits or something like that because uh yeah I, I want to know what your secret is because uh, no reason though you know, we're getting close to finally getting a level and some of the monsters on this floor actually give an okay amount of experience but if you still want a level grind I would say oh another one here we go again I think this one gonna, might get lucky on me. Oh no, I got him before he blew up. Or before he it smacked into me or something like that. Ah, a dead room. But there's no way to tell, really. I mean, if... if Well, okay, technically the mimics, if you get multiple mimics, there are two chests. But there's a couple of few rooms that have just one mimic and a nice chest. So you never know what's going to be a dead room or not. So just have to take take the good with the bad. Oh yeah, here's the mongrel man. Yeah, they take a bit more than a few hits uh but luckily there's so much room here now we don't have to worry about their area attack that like that ring that forms from them and the fact we got range now so that doesn't matter too but i guess if it was a, if some of the maps were smaller oh yeah some of the enemies i wasn't sure what i was attacking i think it was more snakes but they were so far off screen and yeah it's kind of weird that there's some enemies that could just be off screen you know 
you think a game like this, maybe it's just low polygons or something about, like, they had to fix the screen. Oh, yeah, and I got smacked by him there, like the Mongol man. Didn't get hit by his area attack, but I didn't move fast enough to, uh, to, uh, get his physical attack, which is more palpable than getting the ring attack hit on you because it does a little bit more damage, but I'm not going to take the hit there. Yeah, I stand there for a couple seconds looking at my map, just making sure I'm going the right way or not. If I need to go back, because I, I think if I went right, it would have been a dead end, if I recall. All right, nice. Now we finally get to the next uh, storage room here. This has got to have the stuff I want, right? No, yeah, I'm just filling up just... I don't know, because uh, these rooms, these last fours are making me use a little bit more... Um, ammo than before because they take a bit more so maybe anyway, we get xm 1772 if you need like a critical up weapon and we get a tool thanks we don't need that gonna throw it on the ground like the trash it is take that trash and then we get a full cure don't really need that but hey why not and a range plus one i could always use more range although really the range i've got is pretty much the most i don't know if i'd say the most optimal but it's the probably the I mean, maybe for the main storyline where there's so much more room, but most of the rooms in the tower, my range is easily going to... The range I've got at, which is like, what, 133, 135 or something at this point, it's plenty of range. And really, you want the higher range just for the burst burst um, cone to increase is what you need it for. But, but at this point, yeah, we've got, we've got pretty good, so... All right, on to the next floor. What, await, what treasures await us? Oh yeah, and obviously since I'm speeding up, you can't hear the music. But I like the I do like the music for the last, um, this last section of floors. I think I think it's pretty pretty catchy. But uh, when we get to the boss floor, I'll uh, slow it down so you can actually listen to it a bit before we cut off. I won't stand there for like a minute, but I'll I'll let you listen to it for a bit before we hit the boss. Although I don't give you much long, uh, time. But anyway, we find the next storage room here. Gotta be something. No! More Mimics! Why? At least you're not as bad as Mimics from Dark Souls. Those things are scary at low levels because they could easily, like, finish you off. I mean, later on, not so bad, but at the first beginning. Yeah, I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep it because I forgot if I had a revive on me, and I do. I just need one, and I think I've got quite a few on top of our really need to. Yeah, another room with nothing but Mimics. Would rather prefer a Wimic. At least that would have been interesting. You know what? Uh, I think that's supposed to be like half man, half lion, or something like that, if I recall. That I, that's a D and D like creature or something like that. But yeah, I was trying to. I was looking up. I was trying to see if I was trying to pay attention on the XM gun. If I was like, did I need to miss anything with anything? And I was like, oh no, I guess not. So I was like, back up. All right, speed up. As we continue back, yeah. To, Backtrack a little bit for this for this map here. Yeah, good thing I found the map. Finally figured out the maps for this thing, because man, that would have this would have easily like quadrupled my time in this game if I didn't look up the maps. And really, I don't I don't find any anything wrong with looking up the maps for some of these older games. Like they're just they're purposely there to drag out the play time, and and they're not like I don't know what the word is not player friendly. Something it's not game friendly if that makes sense. Like. I get there a challenge and like, you know, trying to figure out like, well, anyway, we hit the next storage room, but the whole exploration, find out what's dead end is, is its own adventure, but I don't know. Uh, oh, we got a super tool there. I'll probably end up not even really needing that, but then yeah, we get bullet cap plus two and we get uh, uh, the S a CM armor. Uh, that's a ceramic. That's a, maybe it's a ceramic. No. Um, anyway, it's got the PE, um, uh, ability. What that means is it basically reduces, like, I think the cost of a thing by, by a third, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm, I don't need it right this second, but I'm definitely going to put it on my armor here pretty soon. Oh, we finally gained a level. We get 10,000 bonus points. And I'm, uh, I was considering using them like right now, but I was like, I was, I was thinking I'll just wait till I get to the next storage room. But yeah, that maybe because of all those battles we fought, we got like a ton of bonus points. So yeah, at this point in the game that like, because of how many bonus points we get, it's just like no one's business. Just like, gonna pop all that into our stats and boom, they're, they're not even gonna handle us anymore. I really don't see any reason. I guess if you haven't really planned it, I was I was thinking there's really no reason to have like go through multiple um, EX modes, you know, because by that, by, you could easily do what you need to in the first EX mode. 
after that, it's a bit, quite a bit overkill. I guess if you ever want to hit max, which you can do, you can get 999 attack damage, kind of like when made his gun during the final battle and in, in uh, the main storyline. Okay, we got to get something I want this time. Uh, B armor has the those stat reducers on there. I don't really need it, but hey. Oh yeah, I, I finally realized at this point I actually started running out of room, so I had to, and I hadn't used the bullet cap. Which, that's a bit overkill, but... Oh, we finally get the best uh, ability in the game, finally. The triple command, yeah. Now we can do three three actions per thing, so that means we can shoot, like, nine times. <laughs> uh, although, I think I might mess with that later, but yeah, we're just gonna take off that ability. It immediately uh, replaces the double action, and boom. Now we got... Uh, now our... Uh, I mean, other than maybe killing the rest of the weapons and stuff like that, pretty much our, our ultimate weapon's done. You know, we've got it, so... Um, I think at this time I was trying to think, I was, uh, thinking if I wanted to miss, oh, that's right, yeah, this, uh, um, I, actually, I think I might save it for, uh, pre-game, maybe, later on, yeah, I was double-checking if I had the right, if that, that critical percentage on, um, yeah, I was just double-checking it, because I, I wasn't, uh, paying attention at the time of recording, I was also considering doing something else with the gun, but I decided to save that for later, same with the abilities here. I was double checking some stuff. Um, yeah, I spent quite a bit of time messing with it, trying to see like what I wanted to do. And I was like, well, I could have just waited to save it for later. And then I finally remember I wanted to do the bonus points. So, um, yeah, like with with all those bonus points, like what could we possibly put them all into? I decided to put a few of them into defense. Nothing major, just to kind of. I have a weird habit, OCD, about making things even sometimes. But, uh, yeah, we just pop it all into attack. I'm just like, take take it all, baby. <laughs> Look at that, 380 attack. Oh, boy. Nothing can stand stand us now, so we're going to start chew, chewing through chewing through the enemies like butter. Like butter. Yeah, we're just going to start, like... <laughs> uh, yeah, as soon as you start gaining levels in EX mode, and depending on how many fights you fight, it's just ridiculous how many how much you can buff up your stuff and really the end game really the only stuff that really matters is really defense and attack and after a certain point mainly attack if you can defeat your enemies before they even get their turn uh to hit you like you know why even mess with that but anyway find the next uh, storage room here aha well i guess the previous room did have the best one of the best abilities in the game which is the triple action so but yeah, now you can, you know, do multiple spells or just shoot multiple times or whatever. It's it's glorious. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why I let that... I think I was looking up something at the time. That's why I let that run a bit faster. Because I was looking at maps or something like that. Uh, anyway, we get the Type 3 T card. I think I'm I think I'm missing one more rare card. If I Yeah, because that would be 13. So one more and we can finally get the final reward from, from Wayne. Um, which will definitely be worth it for those who want to mess mess with stuff and everything like that. But anyway, we do a little bit of maneuvering around to get back to get back to the uh, next floor. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you off all the damage. Yeah, now we can finish them off in a single turn. Well, just because we have triple action, but we're finishing off even before we get to the third set of triples because of how much damage I'm doing to the uh, um, creatures now. Now that I've raised my like attack by like how much did I raise it by like like nine ninety or something like that. But uh, uh it was let's see. Okay, maybe not ninety, it was like eighty, seventy something, whatever. But still, like it's it is definitely a significant chunk of damage. And yeah, if I can just kill them before they even hit me, why why I mess with the defense? But I wanted enough defense to where the bosses wouldn't like take half my half my HP or something like that. You know. Anyway, find another I think the last storage room before uh, before the um, boss. Oh, we finally get the M203, which has the cyanide uh, ability. What that does is it basically, if they're weak against it, insta-kills them. Um, if they're not weak or strong against it, it has a, a slight chance to uh, just insta-kill them. So I basically decide to, let's take off the acid. Because, yeah, it's nice, but if we can just straight up kill them, and, yeah, there are quite a few things that are weak to it, or immune to it, but there's there's things that aren't. And then if you ever want to go through the main storyline again, you could just, like, basically instantly kill, like, a lot of the weaker creatures. So, yeah, I just decided to... I, I decided to keep it on the weapon just in case. Oh, yeah, we get a fence plus two, and we get the SV armor plus two, which has the plus four um, 
But yeah, we want to use the offense there. But yeah, so now there's a chance I might just straight up insta kill. I think we find out here pretty soon that that how well that works. And yeah, for, unfortunately, I get it like right before the final storage room. Yeah, look at that. I insta killed like all the slimes. I guess the snakes maybe they they're not weak, but maybe they resisted it. But yeah, the slimes are weak to it, so it's like, hey, why not? And I think this is the final final floor. Yeah, this part here uh, for the final four, I think, or I I actually get um, confused for a second because for some reason I wasn't paying attention to my room placement. So I thought I still had one more four to go before fighting the boss. So I was sitting there looking at the map, going, "Okay, what? Where is this?" And then I'm like, "Oh right, it's uh, I guess I could have cut it, but it didn't take me that long." But I was like, "Oh right, this is the final. This is the final random floor. Well, not random. Sorry." Final four before the boss four, so yeah, and then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it, it's it can be kind of confusing because of the way he said it, because you could easily go around in circles if you don't know what's going on. So, anyway, finally get some of the better abilities in the final storage room. Anyway, we get the ceramic armor, the best, uh, I think, the best armor in the game, because one, it can hold multiple slots, but two, it's got the best base stats in the game. So, really, okay, this is gonna take me a hot minute to go through, but basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to decide how I want to do if I want to just use super tools or want to kill everything, because I still want to like get some of the bonus abilities. But what I'm what I'm thinking on doing is like how do I want to go about it? Like which armors do I want to kill and which ones do I want to save by using the super tools? Which now that I mean, obviously, no one. I was eventually gonna get to the reward with Wayne's anyway, so doing all this was kind of moot at the time. But I was still kind of going, uh, I was still trying to figure out like how I want to do it. So I do apologize for, but there's going to be quite a bit of time of me just sitting here messing with it, which I could have easily cut out or, oh yeah. And then I decided, oh, okay, I'll hold off on it, grab the stuff. And then I'm like, oh, right. I have to kill something. So, so it basically forced my hand to finally like do something with this. So, um, so I was trying to decide if I, how I want to do it if I just want to quit the ceramic, but then I'm like, oh wait, it has the, my main armor had the plus two inventory thing on it, so I can't even, <laughs> I can't even equip it because my inventory's full, so, so yeah, it was just me finally trying to sit down and decide, like, what I wanted to, how I want to go about it, but yeah, we're, uh, on the armor itself, definitely wanted to get the attack, um, up increase, which, uh, is weird that it's given to you on a, on an armor instead of a gun, but then again, there are some armors that have anti- or attack down uh and it's supposed to those armors are supposed to basically say hey you need to you need to like actually use tools so you can actually get rid of this ability like there's the one armor that has like at bar down or whatever i'm like who would want to equip something like that but yeah now i'm messing with like there's anti-confusion i'm putting putting that on uh and yeah some of them i was like eh, i don't need those plus ones whatever but uh and i was just trying to decide how i want to do the um other stats and everything so and yeah, some of them I choose to use a super tool and others I don't. It, I mean, I know I, why I did on this one, just to use both uh, abilities, but still, I was just like, <laughs> I don't know why I had so much trouble like, trying to kind of pin down what I wanted to do with all this. So, oh yeah, and definitely, yeah, it says PE burden uh, decreased or whatever. Basically just means you it costs less to use the... Uh, the PE ability. And yeah, it takes like one of the final ar or one of the final sets of armors to finally get it, so... And for whatever reason, I decided to keep my old armor by, like, super tooling everything else around it, which I don't even need to because I've got everything I want. You know. Oh, yeah. Moving anti-darkness over. And right now, I don't have a... I didn't bring any, like, trading cards. Or, or I can't go back and mod at the moment. So I was just trying to decide what I want to have on the armor now and then mess with the rest of it later. So, but yeah, we finally get our max max armor there. I didn't really show it off for too long, but yeah, we get also get the final... Um, trading card we get a p plus one and then we get the final club in the game it's got yeah first strike and I, I think it has a variation i might show that off in the next episode what it actually is but it's supposed to have a it has the steel ability but apparently it's supposed to be slightly different from the uh, the other ability but i'll show that off next time so all right i took a yeah i took a quick break there um uh, before or i yeah i had to walk off to do something really quick so i did a quick cut there just to uh so you're not sitting me there for five minutes but anyway all right we're reloading up and getting ready to go so now it's time for us to fight the the mother of all the bugs in this place for boss time against the larvae or whatever but yeah look at that range this covers everything so 
Um, this lane can be kind of dangerous depending on what's going on. So first rule of thumb is probably not do what I did at the beginning and stand right right in front of her because she can activate a lot of her abilities. She's got a lot of HP too. Yeah, look at that. If you stand in front, you'll get a um, you'll get blasted by her beam as well as the uh, little um, like sickles. Oh yeah, and she during the fight like randomly insects will appear. Like I think they're just yellow jackets or bees or something like that, which I don't think they're in the rest of the game. So yeah, they they if you take too long, they keep popping up every once in a while. They probably come from her, and it's probably off screen that you can't see her probably, you know, calling them out. But because of my range, I'm probably hitting some of the ones that appear on screen without realizing it. So yeah, just haste again. I think, I think we've almost got her too. Like this can't be a dangerous fight. It's just I've got so much attack and I built myself to prepare. And, Oh yeah, and I just hide in the corner because I think I was able to avoid the rest of the damage. Yeah, I killed her before she even hit me. And yeah, we get the final Chrysler key. Woo! So that's it for all the random stuff in the floor. And yeah, we survived till the end, but there's only a few set of floors left. But we're not going to do those quite yet. Um, let's go head back to Wayne, give him that rare trading card, and see what uh, see what rewards we get. All right, we're back at Wayne's, and time to give him the last of the the rare collectible. The rare collectible. I was actually I did collect a few rare cards in my day nothing too crazy like Magic the Gathering and stuff like that but not anymore but let's go ahead and give him those last two cards when we get our final reward and we'll go ahead and use those uh um rare final rare cards on the new armor that we got and then give uh give ourselves a few more few more spots that way we can put the auto heal on there not that's a big deal but hey why not right I'm trying to think if I can add some more. I think I can, uh, I think the final armor can, uh, or at least the armor I'm using, I think can use, um, yeah, I can get up to, uh, 10, 10 slots, I believe, um, uh, which, uh, obviously this is why I wanted to use it as well as just having the best base stats in the game. Now, if you didn't want to, I mean, I probably said it in my post commentary, but, um, if you didn't want to, um, swap it over and just stick with the armor you got, uh, that's fully reasonable. But anyway, let's give him the Type 3T. And yeah, I know I have those ex all those extra cards, which I guess in the long run I didn't actually really need. But uh, yep, 10 slots. I think the final sh uh, final machine gun of the game that I got in the last episode, I think um, that also can get up to 10. Unlike the, what, unlike the junk one, but uh, now nah, we don't need to tweak anything for the last one. So let's check his rare card list. Yeah, look at all those hot cards. Yeah, wish I was in my collection. Oh, man. Oh, baby, I'm freaking out right now. I'm totally freaking out. Ultimate gun freaks with this many rare crazy cards. Still would be nice to collect real guns, though. This here is my special tool kit. With this, you can tune up your equipment without losing any of it. And we get the best, uh, well, I don't know if the best, but the final reward in the game, the super tool kit, which means I can move anything around, do whatever I want, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the the reason I brought all the super tools to when I was going through the tower was I thought I could get some of the stuff I tooled on, up there earlier, but I got all of it in the, like the final area. It was kind of silly when you think about it, so I didn't even need to do all that. But yeah, now we can. Uh, uh, ooh, that's some good armor. How about putting a name on that? Something real cool. Oh sure, yeah, we can. Uh, now that we give him the super tool, for whatever reason, we can now name the armor we got. I don't know why. Uh, uh, maybe he does that now just for... I wonder if we didn't have our the same gun. I wonder if he'd let us engrave the gun, too. I bet he would have. But let's go ahead and... Whoops. <laughs> BS button. Let's go ahead and just name it what we did last time. So let's name it the Deimos again. Yeah, the Demon Armor. You can come back anytime now. So yeah, now we can just uh, do whatever we want with the uh, tune-up. So yeah, it was kind of silly what I was doing earlier. Because like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to... Um, yeah, now we can just do whatever we want. So I'll probably just, I probably should have just deleted that really to tell you the truth because I'm not going to use that gun anyway. I've actually been thinking about swapping my, um, changing my gun output to times two instead of times three just to reduce how long it takes in battle. Um, and I think it's fine for what we need. So um, I might leave it times three just in case if I change my mind, you know, that type of thing. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the rest. Of, let's see, what else I want to do on my demos before. Oh yeah, I want to give them times four or uh, um, four in inventory slots. I think there's, I thought there was more somewhere, but I might be misremembering. But let's uh, let's get that one in, and then uh, I think 
Yeah, auto heal. We have HP max. I'm trying to remember what else I want. Oh, I might, I might put auto cure on there too, even though I don't really need it. Um, but I'll have to look at all my armors um, and see what I want to do. Um, but I think for weapons, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, uh, this is. I might go over this final setup again in the next episode, or uh, just to go over everything. But this is pretty much what I've got. Yours may differ from mine. Deimos, I might, I'll, I'll off screen, I'm just gonna kill the rest of the armors, because now I don't need it anymore, now that the super tool, it doesn't matter what I can and can't do there, so, will the, uh, will the equipment we have be powerful enough to take on the true finale of the game? We'll find out next time in the true finale of Parasite Eve. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.